Jesus asked them, whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. As soon as he said unto them, I am he, they went back and fell on the ground. Jesus was bold like a lion. And Jesus is the gold standard of Christianity. And if you claim to be a child of God, you have to be bold like a lion. And you know what they say about lions. Lions don't lose sleep over the opinions of sheep. For you to become everything God has intended for you to become, to reach the heights God has planned for you, it demands boldness. It demands boldness to be a child of God. It demands boldness to walk by faith and not by sight, to go where you've never walked before. It demands boldness to reach for what you've never reached for before. It demands boldness to win. It demands boldness to break chains. It demands boldness to fight when you're tired. It demands boldness to be above average. It demands boldness to be more than a conqueror. Boldness, boldness, boldness. I don't think you understand me. The door is open to those bold enough to knock. It says in the word of God, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. Society where we have access to many religions, how do we decide which one to follow? Well, I only know one way of deciding which of anything to believe is on the basis of evidence. You see, there's a confusion about faith. Many people have accepted Dawkins' definition of faith as believing where there's no evidence. That's nonsense. Faith is an ordinary word. It's not just a religious word. It's an ordinary word. It means trust. And usually, I suspect that all of you, you don't trust either facts or people without having evidence, or else you're a bit silly. And your bank manager won't trust you with a loan unless you provide evidence of collateral. Isn't that true? We all know what evidence-based faith is. Come on, y'all. Use your mind. Open it. Like, really think about this. Really think of, that's why I said, I can look at spirituality and know how it is forsaking the Lord by knowing the Bible. By knowing Satan tricks. By knowing Satan schemes. By knowing the Lord. It says the fear of the Lord um, comes wisdom. The first thing when it comes to wisdom and understanding is first fearing the Lord. And that literally, the, the wisdom, the knowledge, it will come to you. For the Lord is gracious when it comes to wisdom. Anybody that asks for wisdom and understanding, the Lord shall give it. And when you start really asking for wisdom and understanding, how I'm putting two and two together, like the beginning message of the scripture, putting the pieces and the puzzles together, right here, you'll be able to do it. The weakest hunter of all mankind. Yeah, I hear that's what they've been calling. They're adults, yet they act like such childish jerks sometimes. Work hard and prove them all wrong. I know you can. Right, I will. Thanks, Mr. Soul. Compared to that thing, compared to the terror I 
felt that day! This is nothing! pieces yeah if you've seen the most recent videos and you've seen this little clip on there right i don't i could have sworn i had already created this but i don't think i have so about eight years ago yeah give or take about eight nine years ago i discovered i wasn't stupid that's the second revelation the holy spirit gave me father god right after accepting jesus as my lord and savior and So once I discovered that I wasn't stupid and that I could learn, I just had to use headphones to learn, right? Because I couldn't read past one paragraph. If I read a book or, you know, and I started reading it, by the time I got to the end of the paragraph, I had already forgotten what I had read because I was too focused on reading, right? So because of that, I was unable to read and comprehend and understand. And... And so that's how I was in this cage, in my mind, thinking that I was stupid. 
and that I couldn't learn, right? So you yourself, if you are a human being and you are alive, you, you have some limiting beliefs. I still have limiting beliefs. This is why this is a life journey, learning to catch puzzle pieces, learning to, to be aware of those insights, those revelations, when the light bulb clicks, turns on, when wires connect in our brain, in our mind, once we get a revelation and then we, from Father God, right? Because it didn't come from me. And this is a good revelation because you're going to you're gonna yield some good fruits from this. If you run it through your mind and reflect over it and ask yourself, when does this apply through the journey of my day? Then you, you yourself, your mind will tell you. The Holy Spirit, Father God will help you. Your mind, your higher self will tell you, all right. For example, this verse from the word of God that I used previously, right? I'm using this example because this applies to me, for me right now in my life. And that way I can give you guys an example and you can use this. For example, this verse will apply to you too. You just have to read it over, run it through your mind. You're going to get some... You're going to be convicted by the Holy Spirit, by your higher self. And those are holy rocks. Those are divine holy rocks. So instead of getting angry, be appreciative. Thank you, Father God. I'm sorry for being angry right now. I feel angry because I read this verse, but I accept that this is what I have to do. Personal responsibility, right? So... Verse Psalm 6, 6 to 9, I believe. It's the one where he's... I don't have it on me. Dang it. Go to the end, you sluggard. It doesn't need an, a commander, an overseer, a ruler. Right? Okay, that verse. So once we read that verse, it's like... So when do I read this verse? Through the journey of my day, in the mornings? No, I don't have a problem with that. But I do read it in the morning. I have it in my screen at work so that I can read it over and remind myself, right? That way I'm priming myself for the day. That way whenever I feel like I'm dragging or my mind or my feelings or whatever, then I read that word to myself and I'm like, okay. It's like, as once more, it's like if we're about to trip and fall, but you catch yourself. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Miguel, this is your mind. These are your feelings. This is your emotion. This is a state of being. So I read this verse over. And then... And that's us correcting ourselves. Uh, instead of tripping and falling, we're walking our path. But here, let's get to the point. So this, this clip... What I want to share with you all, the point is, is that uh, once I made the decision, I knew I could learn. So I was like, okay, I'm tired of suffering. I'm tired of all of this nonsense. Uh, I'm tired of being a failure, a loser. I'm tired of all of this stuff, right? I'm tired of letting myself down. That's the worst feeling you could do is whenever you're, you're letting yourself down, all right? So once I made that decision... I started to apply the 10,000 hour rule. I started to apply a massive action equals massive results. I learned, I caught that puzzle piece from Tony Robbins. Uh, the 10,000 hour rule, I learned it from the outlier, the outliers, the book outliers. Great book. You should check it out for yourself. I'm going to read it over and over again. I know for the rest of my life. <laughs> Uh, and from that book whenever I read that book I was like oh Father God now I'm going to become the greatest outlier of all time if you haven't read that book you need to check that book out It's so just like uh, this character in this, in this uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the anime Hajin no Ippo something like this is what it's called so he said uh, his father, he was a boxer, but he wasn't uh, super strong like the powerful boxers that have power. So he had to work on his skills, right? On how to, on his footwork, on all of that. 
so but he was able he wasn't able to do it right he got stuck in the chin and that messed him up it, it you know he was he thought that he couldn't do it no more but his son watched him through his life and then he was like well i'm gonna prove it to my dad i'm gonna prove it that just by doing this i can become i can do it right so this is in the same sense this is why i share this clip because this is this resonates with me this is who i am right what i share in here is what resonates with me what i'm living through and going through in my life so in that sense you're gonna know what is you what is truly you what is what resonates with you right so so all that work that i did those ten thousand hours applying massive action becoming my best version my intention my decision to do that what is the result of that that is what i share get to share with you all here catching puzzle pieces learning to focus on the insights the revelations the light bulb moments from father god and learning to apply them to our life and and living them right uh yeah so but yeah this is the clip let's go ahead and play it compensate for my lack of strength i can prove it my goal was to work myself relentlessly every day until i mastered something and it worked my counter punch is the result oh. the results of me doing all this hard work or pushing myself making myself do all this crazy stuff uh the result is catching puzzle pieces, which is the gift I get to share with you all. Um, yep, this this these are my intentions. I'll compensate for my lack of strength. I can prove it. My goal was to work myself relentlessly every day until I mastered something, and it worked. My counter punch is the result. Oh. Cool. So, so never give up. Don't give up. Keep going. Never give up, man. Never give up, woman. Keep going. Keep going. No one's going to come and do what you know you need to do for you. No one's going to come and make you do it either. Unless you pay someone to do it, right? But... This is what I'm learning for myself to get myself to do what I know I need to do, right? But yeah, keep going, warriors. I'll see you on the next video. God, in his word, gives us the keys to pass through the gate of rulership because this is a season of ruling and reigning and the father told me i'm going to give you keys in this season for 5784 for the door that we are going through it's not just for me i can't keep it to myself i have to share with my brothers and sisters and the other chosen ones because when we prophesy we only prophesy in part right and i have a piece of the puzzle that will help the next man or woman of god right so i have to do my due diligence by sharing what the lord gives. how you want to go and how you want to get there you got to control it. If not, it's over. A good human being, a fulfilled human being, doesn't need to break anyone down. All they do is want to build you up. So anybody you meet that calls you out of your name, that bullies you, that messes you up, that, that makes you feel not lifted, they are dealing with something deep-rooted. When you quit, your mind says, we're done. The mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I'll never be in the Olympics, I'll never be a professional athlete, but still I grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't wanna do half the shit I do, but still I grind. And that one day, you see me down a dark alley, running at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. Stay hard. Being accepted is one thing that killed me. And you have to learn what do you want in your life?